All right, what's going on everybody? Today we're building a deer blind. It's August, mid-August, and this is one of the last things that I have to do here at the property. Now, I wanted to build two blinds, but really what I wanna do now is just build one blind and see if we can build it for under $300. But the current prices today, wood is outrageous. So that was the goal. It was 200 bucks, but in reality, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna start building a blind. What we're building today is a six by six deer blind. It's gonna be an elevated blind, hoping to get the blind elevated at least six to seven feet on the platform height. And then we're gonna have another seven feet up to the top of the ceiling. So it's gonna have seven feet or seven foot high walls. Now, like I said, this blind is a budget build and I'm wanting to do it for under 300 bucks. So far with material, as far as hardware, some screws, decking screws, and the wood, just for the base and the wall framing, we're already at $180. Now I did say that this was gonna be a budget build and I wanted to build it for $300. I do have things laying around, which makes this not necessarily a $300 build, but it may $300 right now. And push come to shove, we're just gonna have to mill out some wood. So let's get to it and uh, get started on this build. All right, so first things first, these are the two by sixes. This is gonna be for the base of, or the floor of the blind. Say, I did measure the board width. We're at an inch and a half. Inch and a half is the width of these boards. So that means I'm gonna have to take three inches off of these boards. And then that should give us our six foot square when we screw these things together. We have our base done. This base is six by six squared. And I was going to do 24 on center. However, I don't think I'm gonna go 24 on center. We're gonna go standard 16 on center for our joists that are running across. But what I need to take into account is the trap door. I was gonna go with a two and a half foot door just on paper, it kind of seemed all right, but then I measured it out. And well, two and a half is uh, barely. So I think we're gonna go three foot trap door. So three by three on this corner. And you can imagine that, you know, three feet is halfway on the six foot. So halfway mark here is gonna go out. It's gonna go out uh, three feet halfway. So a quarter of this is gonna be set up for a trap door. I stood inside here. I think three by three is going to be plenty of room for a trap door. All right, so doing a little bit of math, what we're gonna do now is go 18 on center. That should put us in quarters. So 16, uh, six foot. So 72 divided by four um, and quarters gives us 18. So if we go 18 on center for the joist, that should put the middle joist or this joist uh, right in line with our trap door on that side. So we can have a full joist here with just a sub support here and then another one here on this side. Woo wee, look at that. All right, so here's the base again, six by six with joists on 18 on center. And what six by six and 18 on center does is it literally divides your platform into uh, four sections. And for this install, this is what the trap door will look like. Now I do still have to put some supports in between the joists, but with the scrap wood that I do have here, I'm gonna have plenty of wood to set that up. All in all, seven, two by sixes, uh, eight footers, went into building this base, which is pretty good because when I was drawing it out, I told myself I'd need eight. So I still have one. So this is uh, good. We're already starting to cut costs. So I got the first round of plywood cut and I thought I was gonna need two pieces of plywood, but I guess this is where, if you just do it right, you can, you can do it in one piece. So this entire setup only needs one piece of plywood, a four by eight piece. And I think a uh, six foot, so I cut two foot off the side or off the end to give, that's what that four by six piece is here. And I laid this down and instead of cutting it straight across and then trying to come up with the slack on this, what I did is I just measured it out 
with a chalk line and cut this one piece here and to my surprise and it worked out very well the scrap piece that i cut off first off the the two foot off of it fit perfect two foot on the side of the four so all i have to do now is mark this out and cut this piece off and we will have a floor with one piece of four by eight plywood and seven pieces of two by six eight footers so we have a one wall it's up right now just because i wanted to test the window height so the window is 32 inches high it is 20 or 32 inches from the base sorry to uh the first beam running across this is where the window will go and the window itself is 32 inches wide and 26 inches high and it's a pretty simple frame these are just one by twos and uh yeah so the the front wall is going to be seven foot tall and the back wall we're getting ready to build here is going to be six and a half feet tall so it's going to give us six inches drop so i think i might call it for the day still got a lot of daylight and i would prefer to work but uh ran out of straight lumber and so day number two on the blind build we just got back from home depot we picked up more two by twos they're not one by ones they're two by twos and gonna finish off the two walls we did change the window size we're gonna get uh, some free windows from a buddy out of an oak ridge blind so we we changed it to uh, 15 and three quarter high and 24 inch wide if things go well we should uh, have the walls up probably in the next half an hour gave in and bought this sheathing this stuff's like 15 bucks a board i ended up blowing the budget of 200 or 300 bucks now we're at like 460 but now we have everything including the roof i don't have to worry about that just putting up the sheathing right now and gonna be cutting out the holes for the windows all right welcome to day number three of the diy uh budget deer blind so far we're still at 500 bucks and we have it actually tore down i forgot to record uh, as we're tearing it down and doing the roof but this really wasn't necessarily a full tutorial maybe i will do that on the next one just let me know down in the comments but give you guys an update on the blind and we're actually getting ready to move it this morning back to its location which is going to be a journey because it's like uh, half a mile back in the woods but we have our platform here with the trap door uh, four by fours and our walls everything's modular so literally it uh, just screws together. And then we have our roof here. So for this build, uh, since we're on a budget, did a PVC top and it's framed in. So we have to go about a half a mile back in the woods to our food plot. So that's gonna be interesting. We got the four wheeler and the tractor. And it is muddy. All right, so we used the tractor to lift up the base and opted just to go with the straight post. These are eight foot, what we already took off, probably six inches because the tractor, the idea is that we're going to use the tractor to lift it up and uh, and walk it back. We may have to put a log across that or something, Jake, across, what? across the bucket to raise it up another six inches. Uh, oh, yeah. And then we're going to be putting it back there where the brush is at. So. All right, so here we're looking at the blind. It's a couple days later and I apologize. Uh, the battery ran out on the GoPro and I couldn't run all the way back up. It's about three quarter, mile, three quarter of a mile uh, through the woods. So we kind of just continued. Well, we put our walls up uh, modular as you uh, could see when we were building it. So every wall on this is six by six, just slightly changed for the front, back and sides. The four posts are on the ground. They're actually in the ground uh, about two feet. And then we got the cross members on there and the roof is on. So we came in here the other day 
and built a trap door, which is right here. And I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, today we're going to be working on the windows of the blind. So I had a buddy graciously give me some windows to uh, one of his blinds. They're old windows out of it. So let's get everything we need and hop on up here. Uh, the back is the only part that does not have cross members on it. But this is the side we'll be entering and the food plot obviously is out there. All right. So the trap door is actually pretty easy. Um, this was the hole that we put in. These are the supports for right now. We're gonna have to screw these in today and level out that door. But when the door closes, it sits on top of this. And for the most part, it's flush with the floor up top. All right, so here we are on the inside of the blind. I'm actually standing on just a, a ladder right now, but <clears throat> The windows that we're going to put in are Oak Ridge. So if you're familiar with any hunting blinds, you might have heard of Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge is a company here in Ohio that build blinds very, very similar to this one. And uh, I really enjoyed their design, their style, the way they, the modular piecing together of them. So these are out of an old Oak Ridge uh, blind. He says, well, a newer blind, but uh, they're old windows because he did upgrade his windows to like double pane for... Um, fog and stuff inside do so we're going to be using these these typically go side by side and slide open so they would slide out that way uh we're not going to do that we're actually one of these windows flipped sideways just about fits inside our shooting holes our, our windows so what we're going to do is again hinge them and they're going to fold up all right, so let's have a look at how these windows are going to go in this blind. Again, this is a DIY blind trying to cut costs. We got these windows for free, so can't complain. I do plan on adjusting them, though, on how we use them. Uh, they're originally supposed to kind of go on their side and slide open. Uh, with this being so far back and we hunting season's literally uh, about a month out. But uh, <clears throat> these windows have a piece that you can grab like a slider like a sliding window because that's what they were originally meant for however if we hang them right on top of the two by twos on the window and line it up we get about a half an inch here and a half an inch here of gap and what we'll be able to do once I put the hinges on is we'll be able to literally roll it up and have an open window all right, we got these in. So these little hinges just hinge right here on the top. And then what this will do is just fold right up. All right, there we have it. I'm going to show you guys the windows here in a minute, but that is uh, just about done. I need to get some brush. If I can get the tractor back here one more time, I can uh, mound some of these trees and stuff and get them in here. But... That is the blind with the windows in and put some camo in that just for now. I really wanted to put that on the inside on the back wall the, behind the main shooting window, which is this front window, but that'll work. I can just pick that stuff up. It's pretty cheap. All in all, uh, at this point, I have right about $540 in the blind. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the inside. These windows, uh, for the time being, I have a, a slip knot that uh, goes across and we still gotta put some trim up here, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. <laughs> gotta keep on reminding myself that this is a DIY project. So these windows are 32 inches off the ground. If I was standing here, it's gonna be hard to see, but if I'm in like the seated position, I'll be able to see out just fine and be able to take uh, the shots that I need. You know, I got the feeder, the water hole out there. Over here, we do have a tree in the way, but uh, I can scoot back and shoot that direction. I won't be able to shoot back until I clear out one of these trees. This window here, we'll be able to see them coming through the back. Not so much, but we can shoot out 
this side, see the other food plot. And then behind us, this is where uh, I'll be watching in the morning for the most part. Facing this direction. And the tinted windows will be pretty nice because it'll keep it dark in here. It's actually really dark if I close the hatch door. And that's what I want. That's what we want, right? So, added a little rope handle to the door too as well. That just lays right down in there. And the trap door is here. First time I'm walking on it, so it's a little spooky. Um, we're going to lay some outdoor carpet in here. Probably, uh, obviously here pretty soon. And then we gotta clean up some of the edges. We actually have aluminum caps that are gonna go on the side, run all the way up and down on the side. But that is that. Let's uh, take a look at one of these windows facing the outside. So, you know, you just slide the slip knot and you'll be able to open it up. We gotta put a latch up top. And from sitting inside, you know, we'll be set back. And you'll be able to see that way. Again, you'll be able to see that direction. Would uh, Probably gonna make these windows a little wider next year. But the window is at the right height. So I could probably take a shot uh, anywhere in the viewport here pretty comfortably, especially with a bow. And if they do happen to be over here and I'm watching them, obviously I'll be in here setting up the blind. All right, so that is that. We are done uh, with the blind. 500 and about $40 later, we have an elevated blind that is about seven foot tall, seven foot high, six by six. And it's pretty sturdy. I'm pretty excited for the hunting season. I'm gonna be able to hunt right out there. Look, if you like this video or have any input on how we can improve this, um, there's a lot of things we can improve and I want to hear your feedback. So go ahead and post them down in the comments. Hit that like button too, it really helps out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.